Welcome to this new workshop mini this week. I'm so excited about this topic. I'm going to be talking about something that you may have never heard of before. Uh, before we get into the good stuff, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment if you're on YouTube. So I'm going to get right to the chase it's amazon you're probably like huh yeah i know debbie you can all i know that you can sell content on amazon kindle has been around for like ever and you're not telling me anything new well okay hold on i am we're gonna be talking about the digital world versus the physical world on Amazon. Physical books are on both ends of Amazon. They're digital and they're physical. Probably are very familiar with the digital version of selling content online, but you also know on Amazon that there is a physical marketplace. That's where we get all our clothes and our gadgets. Pretty amazing the day and age we live in. I didn't even have to go to the mall to do any shopping. I just got everything online. All beautiful all delivered, shipped to me. It's freezing out. I don't want to go outside too much. It's amazing, really. And it's only going to be crazier and crazier as the years go on. You can actually sell content in the physical format. And when I show you this next slide, you're going to like... People buy information on CD still. Like... For me, I don't even have a CD player anymore. I don't have anything that plays a CD. Everything is digital, but that's me. Some of you on the call, some of you watching on the replay, that might not be you. You might like to get that tangible thing in the mail that you can actually take out, you can touch, you can hold it in your hand and actually put it in your device and it works perfectly. My friend Greg Caesar, who is literally an expert when it comes to selling content on Amazon, because it's so much more than just knowing, you know, putting up products. It's knowing every intricate detail on what to name your product, the strategy behind that, the strategy behind getting positive reviews, the strategy to having happy customers. It's every little thing along the way that he has learned for several, several years. This is really exciting and it's a new concept especially if you're just used to having the digital version, <clears throat> not really having costs associated with selling your content. Because Kindle, you are paying Amazon when you sell books. You're just not paying for it to be published. But at the end of the day, Amazon is getting its royalties. So while it might be a, a lower cost of entry, you're still paying for that later on. What I forgot to mention with the digital versus physical, is that on the physical side of Amazon, there is so much more money to be spent. Think about it. Greg says this in our workshop that I'm going to tell you about. He says, what was, what's the most amount of money that you spent on a Kindle book? I know for me, that, that answer is like the highest is maybe like $14.99 and the lowest is zero because of Kindle Unlimited. With physical products, people are spending more. They're spending 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and upwards dollars on physical products. So that means that there's more money to be made, <laughs> which is really, really exciting for us uh, folks that love to produce content. The kind of content, everything is covered in our workshop that we did this week at devdrum.com slash Azon Profits. We did a whole workshop on this about, Greg talked about, you know, a lot behind this business and, and the easy, simple things that you need to do to set everything up. But what he also showed, which was really quite amazing, is uh, his income proof where he made literally thousands of dollars just passively, just by setting up these systems that he has selling products. And it's not like he has 8,000 products on Amazon. He doesn't. I'm sure, he, he didn't really say, but I'm sure not all of them are hit out of the ballpark. Amazing, because we all have products that do well and don't do well. We have to try and, and see what works sometimes. He's probably got more than a handful that bring him in a nice penny, not doing any marketing, no list, no nothing like that. 
uh, which is awesome. And it's very appealing because it kind of lets you be in that content creation mode more often than you are with that in that marketing mode where you're constantly having to get yourself out there just to sell a 99 cent book. We have to think sometimes, you know, where, where should we spend our time and where is the most opportunity to make money. While this was a short one today, I really, really urge you to go ahead and check out this workshop that we did. This has really got me really excited about Amazon and the endless potential. This is not the only Amazon product that I recommended in the past couple of weeks. Uh, another one had to do with audio books, which I'm probably relaunching. There's such opportunity with Amazon and if you kind of make Amazon like almost like a buddy or a friend that you want to be interested in and start to learn, then there's a lot, a lot of uh, potential, opportunity, everything when it comes to, because it's only going to get better and it's just incredible. So Amy says, enjoyed the webby the other day with Greg, lots of good tips. I wasted another year and plan to make this model work for next year. I have so much on my hard drive that I can use already. Oh my God, thanks for sharing that, Amy. Greg's amazing. He knows a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's a great guy to follow. Yeah, you didn't think CDs were hot anymore. Yeah, it's, you know what? It surprises me and it doesn't surprise me because a few years ago when I went to the book expo event, I think the first year I went was 2016 and um, I heard statistics that print physical book sales were on the rise. And I was like, I was kind of young and dumb at that point. So I was like, what? Every, thought everyone's reading on their Kindle. It's the digital age. I'm selling digital books. Everyone's doing it. Blah, blah, blah. And the print books were on the rise. So I was very shocked to hear that. So when I see the statistic about you know, most people or not a statistic, but income, revenue, sales of somebody who's in this business saying, yeah, um, you'd be crazy not to do this. I'm going to listen. That's what you do. You listen to the people who know what they're talking about and who are experts. <laughs> Barb says, I was especially impressed that Greg said he personally calls everyone who buys his training. He called me. What an awesome thing to do. That Greg. I tell ya. Ah, that's a great question, Donna. Does Amazon fulfill the products like with KDP journals or okay. So there's two types of ways to sell on Amazon. One is print on demand and the other is Amazon FBA. Okay. So print on demand, you don't collect any inventory. It's literally printed when there's demand or when there's a sale. That's one side of the business. The other side of the business is FBA, where you do make a small investment in the pieces of content, but it's very, very small in relation to what I'm going to tell you in a second. But essentially, you buy the inventory, which is small, to test it out and you are uh, sending that over to Amazon and they fulfill it for you, which in a lot of cases is better because then you can, it's faster shipping for Prime and um, maybe you get other perks, I'm not sure. The reason why I brought up free with Kindle is because with doing the, the content by CDs, it's free to get, well, you're in Amazon Central, right? So there's a, a fee for that, which is $39 a month. And you have to purchase like maybe like 10 CDs or so, which is like less than $2 or something like that. So he shows you how to get it made, where to go, how to do it easily and seamlessly, everything like that. And then, you know, Amazon fulfills it for you. But if you look at, you sell like, you're selling anything online, like a digital product. Do you know how much time and money and resources go into the sale of that product, like the sales letter? Have you ever seen that sales letter? You've probably seen one of mine where you talk about the product, highlight it. That takes a long time to do. And that is definitely like nowhere near the cost of buying 10 CDs, which might cost you $20 versus selling something else online that you might not be ready for, like digital products, putting together long sales letters, putting together buy buttons and all this stuff. Look, there is a process for everything, 
but a lot of processes are just easier. And Greg talks about this a lot, Amy and Barb, you probably can contest to this when you were on the workshop yesterday, me and Greg, we were talking about just keeping things simple. Don't make it hard. That's definitely this method. So again, that link is devdrum.com slash Azon Profits. Go check out that workshop. It's awesome. Consider going to the other side of Amazon, which is digital products where there is more money to be made than selling a 99 cent Kindle book where Amazon still collects most of the royalties. So ah, drives me crazy. But you know what? Amazon is our friend and we need to be nice to her. So try it out. Go check it out. Do something. Sell something today. Get it out there and I'll see you next week. <laughs>